Yo guys, is up Shadow here and welcome and surprise. Yes, my VR setup is back and working for the most part, I think. So, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, instead of recording a normal video today, I uh, spent basically the whole mm, late afternoon evening um, doing some DIY. Um, basically uh to get him with uh, my father i put up some some things uh you know drilled some holes and put up my vr sensors again um one of them is actually not drilled into the wall like you're supposed to one of them is uh, like jerry rigged to uh, one of my uh, shelves because i technically i wanted to drill a hole into the ceiling but that ceiling was so freaking tough i gave up essentially and now it just rigged it to the to the freaking shelf but it works it actually works um i probably will try to make a, a little bit more of a permanent solution to that because right now it looks pretty pretty redneck uh, hillbilly style with duct tape and a, and a few strings but it, it it holds it's stable so that's good and you know i did some other work around the house today you know put some like cable canals up to hide some of the wires and stuff like that so yeah but now i was able to test um the vr again and also uh um you know i just decided to record like uh, the session and so i can talk about it and uh as you can see i'm playing um, one of my favorites my all-time favorites hot dogs horseshoes and hand grenades the like a real cool gun simulator and it it has has had, had some new improvements that i wasn't aware of um for example this level that i'm playing right now is all about like destructibility uh, especially um, windows and doors you can essentially breach windows with sh um, by shooting the locks and stuff you can spawn bots in to protect the home you can also spot snipers that you can have sniper duels with it's pretty fun actually so yeah i was just playing around a bit i actually also played a little bit of beat saber today and i kind of want to you know get a little bit more into the habit of playing some vr every once in a while it's also you know pretty good to stand up every once in a while and uh, get a little bit of uh, movement in i think especially for me because i'm sitting all day anyway for my job and for my hobbies pretty much as well so that's good and yeah so you can definitely look forward to a vr video every once in a while i don't think i'm gonna do the like the regular thing i did back in pff, when was that 2020 I don't know when I stopped the VR Sunday things, but that was very almost stressful at, a, at one point where I really had to force myself to play, especially when I, when it was games that I was not 100% sure about because there were a few that I wasn't so fond of and I almost had to force myself to play them. Um, so I will I will have a little bit more of a healthy relationship with it, I think. So maybe there's going to be like once a month, there's going to be a fun VR video or something, depending on what's out, what I see, what I play. And the only thing I kind of have to think about what I didn't test today is if I will have like a camera that is trained on me. That's something I have to figure out. And also my space is a little bit mm, awkward. I'll have to kind of redefine uh, my VR space again, I think, because right now I defined it as a standing space, which um, is a bit awkward because it doesn't display my outer bounds. You know, when you move your... Normally, if you just define a VR space, uh, if you move your hands towards the, the bounds, it shows up as like a blue grid, only for the... Um, the player not for you actually watching so but it's very useful for me to know where the boundaries are because i have a few shelves up that i don't want to knock down and one of the shelves actually has some fairly sharp metal edges on it and i'm pretty sure if i smashed into that i either would destroy or damage my controller or even worse maybe you know cut my hand on it um I actually already cut i think my shoulder on it when i walked by it a bit too briskly and uh, um, basically ramped my shoulder into the edge. I got a little, like, a little scratch on my shoulder. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.